What's up Capricorn? Do yourself a favor and trust your intuition for guiding you to this moon message for the full moon in Aries, which is taking place October 9th. So this reading is covering October 9th through the 12th. And full moon in Aries is really all about a revelation. Full moons are all about when we reach a full manifestation point, everything's being illuminated, everything under the shadows is coming to fruition, it's coming to light. And then Aries starts the zodiac. So it's the first house, it's number one, it's all about the self, realization, discovery. So let's see what this realization and revelation means for you in your love life. All right, let's dive in Capricorn. Full moon in Aries for Capricorn, or yes. I almost thought I said full moon in Capricorn for Aries, okay. Full moon in Aries for Capricorn. Trust my intuition, I got it right the first time. What's going on for Capricorn for the full moon in Aries? What's the revelation? Oh, look, we really do have a revelation. With the hermit energy, this is Virgo energy. It's like a light is being shown on something as you're kind of out here by yourself. I feel like I'm not sure if this is you or another person moving towards you, um, but there's definitely something about a light being shown on something. Give me more about that. Tell me, is this Capricorn or the person coming towards Capricorn? This is the person coming towards you because we have the Knight of Cups here, which is always moving towards someone. This is someone that's always offering something. Um, Cups energy is our emotions. It's our feels. It's our flow. Someone's very, very attracted to you, wanting to offer you something. I feel like wanting to offer you something as a result of an insight they got about you, Capricorn. So Knight of Cups, that's Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a, a Virgo, as I said. But I feel like someone reached a revelation about you. It's like they did some inner work with the hermit, and now they're like, okay, yeah, Capricorn is the one I want. It's almost like someone just realized they wanted you suddenly. Flip the deck over. Give me more for Capricorn for the full moon in Aries. This love interest. So we have the strength card in reverse. So this is Leo energy could be dealing with Leo as well. I feel like someone's, um, it's interesting because I take that as a cowardly energy in reverse, but with this energy, it's like they're, they're moving towards something. I wonder if they're trying to overcome this cowardly energy. It's like they're trying to offer you something. The four of wands in reverse is the bottom of the deck energy is like a breakup. It, it's possible you broke up with this person. We got another four, four of swords clarifying that. Libra energy. And Aries energy with the four of wands. It's possible you broke up with this person. Let's get a little bit more before I go off on a rampage about that. I'm definitely getting someone's coming towards you, Capricorn, but it seems like it's almost like something stops them with the strength card like that in reverse. Or maybe they have too much of a load in some way. And they're like, all right, like I got to, you know, take care of my priorities here. Give me something for Capricorn for the for full moon and Aries. I can't talk. The way that like came out, like had me startled a second. All right, codependency. This could be someone that you were with before and maybe they're like, maybe you broke up with them because they felt a little too codependent or a little too needy or clingy or something like that. You could both be 32. I'm getting that um, with this eight energy. You know, 32 is a multiple of eight. I don't know why that came to mind and 32 is on that card. I do think this is someone that I'm hearing you hooked up with or you were with in the past. But I feel like there it's almost like a nervous energy with the strength card in reverse. Give me more about that. We have bad gas. Yeah, someone's lurking. Someone's looking on your energy, Capricorn. Someone's looking in at night. So we have a 28 energy and 8 energy. 8 also seems to be prevalent. 8 is about completion energy. Give me more for Capricorn with this person lurking in the shadows. Yeah, definitely literally because we have the hermit energy and he's in the shadows with a lantern. And then we have the bat. So bats are nocturnal, but they're seeing from the dark to the light. Yeah, this person definitely feels connected to you. 
This person's really, I feel like, very interested in you and intrigued by you and curious about you, Capricorn. Really wondering about what's going on in your life. I do think at a certain point you were connected to this person in one way or another um, with this codependency energy, but I feel like they never got over it. So give me something through the charms for Capricorn. What's this energy? Yeah, I almost feel like something got jetted between the two of you with this skull here, but this is like a bejeweled skull. So I get like a long John Silver, like a treasure energy. I feel like this was a very special connection between you and someone with this energy, this bejeweled energy, especially the fact that it's coming out on top of this codependency card. But it's like, maybe it was like too much of a good thing you know, can kind of lead to something bad with this skull energy. I, I almost feel like it was too much of a good thing. And then you wanted your space, but I feel like this person wants back in. Tell me more for Capricorn. I just saw 555, so there is some realness in that. All right. You know what? I'm going to take this because it's just on the side right there randomly. This person could be trying to connect with you through song, Capricorn. I'm just noticing this over here. Um, pay attention to the lyrics and when you think about this person if a song plays pay attention to the song because that could mean something so the asterdays we have Uranus energy which is all about big sudden changes in Aries or Aries Sagittarius I'm looking at the arrow here um, so this is definitely the energy Sag is the eternal archer it's all about eternal optimism it's definitely this energy of like big sudden amazing changes happen like really good changes for your future in the sixth house which is all about it's ruled by virgo so it's very service-based energy it's almost like someone is like coming in randomly trying to offer you something and i feel like it's another reconnection but i feel like at the same time they're they're very scared to do it i feel like they're afraid of getting shut down by you or something yeah, very interesting energy, Capricorn. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so, so much. And hopefully I will talk to you again very soon.